Hey guys, it's Ta. Welcome back. So, today was supposed to be a great day to find stuff. No, it didn't quite work that way. Um, I was supposed to go to a lot of places, but my time kind of, I got lost. You know, you know how you get lost in doing something and then you just, you never make your schedule. So, I went... I was going to go, I went to Ross today because I saw online that they went 49 cents, which I did not know they did, but apparently they do, um, for Christmas. And people were filling up all kind of buggies of like candy and different random things. 49 cents. I'm like, all right, let's do this. I get there. Nah, 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 nah. Nothing left at 49 cents at all. It was kind of disappointing. But I did get this. Um, it was $2.99, which is not the greatest price, but it comes with five. It is the Cream Shop and Elf's Workshop Anti-Age and Plump. Um, includes five Resifertol or whatever uh, sheet mask. It boosts collagen levels to keep skin firm and youthful. So I went ahead and got that. And a little elf is so cute. Not the best deal, but beggars can't be choosers when you get there and there's nothing left. And then from there, I went to, where'd I go? Oh, I went to the bookstore. So let's see what's in that bag. Um, let's see, let's see. I, I bought books at two different places today. Uh, what did I get at this store? I think these, yeah. Um, today they had a sale. I don't know how long it's going to go on at 2nd and Charles. So if you have one of those, make sure you go check it out. The clearance books were buy one, get one free. So I bought one and got one free. Um, if you guys remember, I did the Cedar Chest Hall, which is a thrift store. Um, I had gotten the Mockingjay. No, I lie. I got the Hunger Games because I love that book series. I love the movie series. Some people don't like it, but I do. Um, so that was one of the books that I found was book number two because I had only picked up book number one from that thrift store. So book number two was a dollar. And then I also found book number two for the Kingdom Keepers. And this is a Disney series. Um, it happens in Disney at night. I started reading the first book, but um, I stopped because once I read the first book completely, I didn't have the next two, three, four. I think there's seven of them. So I wanted to get a couple of more um, before I continued reading them. So got the second one. It was a dollar. So paid one dollar for one, free for the other one. And then... I found a really good deal, but then I was kind of mad at myself after the fact, uh, like a couple hours later. So, I was in the kids section, and they had, um, they had like these big bins full of kids books that started at like $2, and it was just, just a whole bunch of their books. So anyway, I found book one and book two of Harry Potter, which we, I love the Harry Potter series. Um. I started reading it to Abby. We did not complete it yet because she kind of, she was kind of iffy. But I think being that we have the first book pretty much done, if I let her watch the movie, maybe she'll kind of get more into it and really enjoy two through the rest. So anyway, these were two fifty and two fifty five, so that's not a bad price for Harry Potter. Uh, these were the only two they had. They didn't have um, any other ones on really good sale all the other ones they had were brand new and they were brand new prices so i was like uh, i will wait on those so i have one and two so that's what i got from that store and then i went to the boutique and the cedar chess boutique there are let's see east side west side and then I think there's five locations. Either four or five. I can't remember at the moment. But anyway, I found I went to one I had never been to. 
and it was amazing. Um, the store that it was in, because it used to be another store, it's one that we went to growing up. My grandma would always take us with my mom, and she'd get all of our school clothes, whether it be our regular clothes, our uniforms, anything like that. We always went to this store, and they had everything from regular wear at any time clothes to formal to like wedding dresses baptisms they had it all they had a very wide um array of clothing choices so i went there because i already knew where the building was and it was really big compared to the last one i went to but they had an amazing deal on their books um they didn't have any prices posted but i knew from going to the other two locations that the books were 25 cents for a soft cover so i expected when i picked out these two books to pay 50 cents mm -mm, i paid 10 cents a book i was like what so uh this one i got i've read it i've watched the movie i really enjoy it it is the shack love this book love it um i had my own copy somebody asked to borrow it and i don't remember who and I don't have it back. So, this is one that I could really read over and over again. So, I picked it up again. And then this one, it just seemed like a type of book that I would like. Um, it is in the paranormal, paranormal romance section. Intimate being. So, I just picked that up. Cover looked interesting. Um, it's not too thick of a book. So got those and like i said they were 10 cents a piece which was great but then while i was there i happened to look in like the teen slash juniors because the way they have it there's not a whole lot of books this place had was it four bookshelves and they were tall like a little bit taller than me and i'm like five four but anyway um they had stuff from cookbooks to crafting books, like knitting and crocheting. They had uh, a lot of faith-based is what they titled the section. They had kids' books, and then they had your hardcover, your large print. They had a few different things, but they had like a teen section, a fiction section, a romance. Anyway, it had all that stuff. So I was looking in the teen section just to see kind of what they had or whatever. They had the first book of Harry Potter. I paid two fifty dollars for it. A few hours before that could have got it for 10 cents and it was in really good shape so I was like well you live and you learn right so after leaving that store guess what was right next door mm, any guesses mm -mm, a dollar general I was so excited I went in there and then come to find out my cousin's ex baby mama Yes. Anyway, uh, she works there. So, we were chit-chatting and whatnot. So, I'm like, okay, I kind of got a connection at this store to see kind of what's going on. But, I went look around just to see. They didn't, I kind of looked for some pennies, but not too deep in detail because I was running out of time. I had to get back home and it was like where I was at was an extra 15 minutes away from home. So it was like 45 minutes instead of 30. So I went to the clearance section. You guys. I wish I would have found out about going to the store. Like I knew it was down there. I knew it was down that bayou. But I never really paid attention. I went in their clearance section. And not only did I find the Bic razors. I found like. I don't know, between maybe seven, eight, maybe even ten of them. There was a whole rack of them. All 75 cents. Waiting to give somebody $2.25 overage. I'm like, do people that live around this area not know what those are for? Like, that is free money. You are just letting it sit on the shelf. So, I had one coupon on one of my Dollar General accounts. So, I said, you know what? Let's just make something happen here. Um, I really would have preferred it to be, you know, on a Saturday where I could have got a bigger haul, but, um, excuse me, um, they didn't have any 
Christmas clearance, uh, like the Senate stuff, they didn't have any of that left. So I couldn't use that anyway. So it probably wouldn't have helped the 5 off 25. But anyway, I went ahead and I got some stuff. And before we even start, I'm going to tell you, I saved $14.50. My subtotal was $0.75. Cents. I don't know if it's clear enough for you guys to see. $0.75. Cents. And it should have been $0.50, cents, but I didn't have the correct um, store selected when I scanned something. And that was a bottle of the Centrum um, Energy, I mean the Centrum Vitamins. They were $5.25 at this store for some reason. But, and the Tylenol was $2.25. So anyway, I went ahead and I got, I had a Lysol on that account, so a dollar. And then I had a toothpaste, a dollar. A Tylenol, these were $2.25 at that store. A Centrum. These were the 525 ones. And I had this Centrum. These were $5. And then the Big Razors. They had like three packs of these and all the rest were the blue single pack. So anyway. Um, I was right at, I was, what, 15? My subtotal before anything came off was fifteen twenty-five. Once all of the digitals came off, it was $0.75. Cents. Not a bad day there. Uh, but I was looking to do the right guard deal there as well. Because I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram. If you get two right guards, one dial body wash. Uh, that's like three fifty, I think it is. And one dial, somebody had a hand soap. And you rang them up in that order. It was $0.36 cents plus tax. So I only had one account that had the, dial, uh, that had the right guard. But they didn't have it. They had the expensive one. The one that was like $4 a thing. So I didn't do that. Because I didn't figure it would work the same as the other. The deal that everybody else was getting. So I just went ahead and left it. But next time we get a new big coupon. You can bet. I'm driving 45 minutes that way. And I'm going to do all my deals over there. But some some people are like, why are you going to drive 45 minutes? It's just a waste of gas. But I'm also going to visit my family and everything else too. So it really won't be a waste because I'll be able to spend the Saturday with them. And I could probably drag a few of them to the store with me so that they can do the whole punch your phone number thing in. That way they don't think it's all my accounts. I only have five accounts. It's not a ton. I've seen people with way more. So I figure if I drag, you know, two people with me, two of us can do two and one can do one. Hey. Okay. Nobody can say anything. So, yeah. That's the plan. And what else I did today? Oh, I wound up stopping by Momo's, you know, my favorite grandma. Because she called me and asked me what I was doing. And she's like, are you in town? And I happen to be in town. So she told me to go by and pick up my sister's Christmas presents. Because my sister, with her working schedule, hadn't been able to. So I went do that. And while I was there, I got gifts. She gave me all the coupons for like the past two weeks from her and everybody else that had them. So, yay! And then, she said, while I was standing by the counter, she's like, hey, reach down there and get me a, two bowls. I'm like, alright, cool. Grab two bowls. She said, get two lids out the little container. Got two lids. Next thing I knew... She was putting some brownies in one bowl and some little cookie things in another bowl. She popped the lids on and said, here you go. Momo hooked me up with cookies. I mean, brownies and cookies. It's kind of like a tea cookie or whatever. So, I went pick all that up, got these, got my uh, desserts to eat. And then she gave me this book she got for Abby. It's 10 Minute Stories. And it is a collection of charming tales to share. And each color difference that you see there in these in the pages is a different story so abby will have fun reading these and it's a pretty thick book uh it was 23.95 according to retail but she got it at ollie's and it was like 6.99 so a great deal because my grandma's starting to pick up on deals because i always tell her about stuff if i uh if i see it or hear about it i'm like hey go check this out so 
that's what I did today. I never made it to Big Lots because Big Lots is 90% off. Never made it there because I was way behind schedule. And what else? Did, oh, and I went to Dollar Tree, but I'm not going to share that with you guys yet. That will be part of another haul. Probably either tomorrow or Monday. Yeah, Monday. So I'm hoping to go Saturday for Dollar General and get back early enough to share those deals with you guys. Sunday, of course, is CVS Day. And then maybe Monday I'll do the dollar another Dollar Tree haul. Because I know I just did one, what, yesterday? So, yeah. Uh, that's all I have. Make sure you guys go and watch the giveaway challenge so you know what to do if you would like to be entered into that a crafting challenge also you guys i've only received one index card because remember i have a video i'll try to go find it but i'm gonna just basically tell you now i need an index card from whoever wants to be entered into a guaranteed giveaway every last friday of the month for a five dollar gift card to anywhere that week like if i pick a location I'll announce it on that Friday when I pull the name. You have you have time on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to contact me to make sure that you have that store in your location. If you don't, we can always revert to a Walmart card, a uh, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, whatever you might have that I do have as well. So make sure you get those index cards to me. Put your name, your address, uh, email address if you want, Instagram, YouTube name, whatever in information you want to supply me with, go ahead and put it. But I definitely need your YouTube name, your name, and your address. That is definitely what I do need. So, I will let you guys go with that. And everybody who won on Friday, uh, I mean, not Friday, listen to me, Jesus. On the 14th for the makeup, I'm still waiting on two addresses. So... Uh, make sure you guys send me those. I'm definitely sending two of them out tomorrow. If I don't hear back from... I haven't heard from one of the people yet. So if I don't hear back from her, I'll have to redraw here shortly. So just keep your ears and eyes open to see if I do have a redraw. So bye guys.